Hello, welcome back to Tap That. Today on Pursuit of Happiness, we are going to be reviewing Brew Dog's Clockwork Tangerine with the TLC method. Um, I'm pretty excited. You ready? Yeah, let's see what's on tap. Alcohol. I got a hell of a talk with you. I want to treat you just like you treated me. Let's, let's open it together. Oh, okay. Ready? okay. You ready? Ooh, this is orgasm together. Mmm. That was a little, little fast there. You, you want a little fast. I like a slow one. Yeah. All right. But like I said, today we're going to be reviewing Clockwork Orange. Clock. Isn't that so. Like, it, it's going to be like hard for me. Clockwork Tangerine. That's what you're trying to say. Yeah, but they're, the movie's called Clockwork Orange, which is so embedded in my yeah. mind that I'm going to mess that name up four times in this video. Just let everybody know. That's fine, man. I haven't watched it. I'll put it on my movie list. Oh, next to Happy Gilmore and you never seen Happy Gilmore? No, man. I know the premise. They play Ooh. golf, right? Yeah, but it's it's better than that. Yeah. Uh, Clockwork Tangerine is not even in the same realm of Happy Gilmore. You mean Clockwork Orange? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, See, I know the title better than you. Do. Clockwork Orange is a, is a dark. Is is dark. Yeah. It, it's not a good, but uh, let's tap. Ooh, all right. mm, mm -mm. Here, I'll spit it back in. Let's tap yeah. that. Yep. It's not as, not as crisp as the glasses, but uh, sorry. it comes down the same, right? So this one, oh, man, go check out the cold case files on this one for BrewDog. We mixed them up. I changed my guess. I broke the rules. I think there's no rules. Yeah, he thinks there's no rules. I was trying to make rules. live in anarchy. Yeah. Uh, this one we both got wrong. You were trying to go off color and taste. I was there for the taste, and uh, we got this one mixed up with the last review of Elvis juice, didn't we? Yes, we did. But being that this one is named after a fruit, I thought they would be more fruit forward. And that's yeah. completely why I said the Elvis one. And now here's the thing, though. Grapefruit, which was in the Elvis juice, is much more, like, sharp than tangerines well, are. It's all psychological as well because yeah. you gave me the name and I was like, oh, yeah, that's definitely grapefruit. As before, oh, me too. I could – we were like, what kind of fruit is that? You yeah, know, like I, but, I, but it was fruit. Oh, yeah. It was, it was definitely fruit. fruit. Yeah, but uh, we wanted to name tangerine – the clockwork tangerine, we thought – you know, we mixed them up. It's okay. Now we're on to this one. Uh, let's check out the alcohol content. Ooh. 4.5's not enough. It's not enough. It's not this enough. is 2% less. Than the other one, and the other than... one was better. Now, I don't think this one would give me a tummy ache, though. Mm -hmm. Like, this one's better on... We talked about that, too. What uh... <laughs> how, how tummy achy is it? Yeah. That should be one of our ratings. <laughs> But I think that goes hand in hand with the chuggability. It'll be a TLCT. TLCT. Yeah. Yep. Taste, label, chuggability, tummy feel. <laughs> tummy feel. <laughs> I don't know. It, it's very mild. I mean, if we're just going to speak taste right now, I don't like dislike it, but it, you know, I like an IPA. I like something that lingers. You say this almost every episode. Every episode. I, I just do. I like a beer to to envelop my palates. No, and it absolutely makes sense. And honestly, the the Elvis juice, that lingered. And it You're tasted right. good the whole time. This one, Where almost... This, this is almost like a... a it, it's also labeled an IPA, guys, but... Is it? I'm pretty sure, right? No, I don't see it. It just says Clockwork yeah. Tangerine. Tangerine Session IPA with natural flavor. He's right. So it's labeled an IPA, but I would definitely assume that this is much lower... Yeah. In, uh, can I say that? Much lower as in Pilsner. Mm hmm. Yeah. Much lighter. Much, there you go. Lighter, L lighter is, and maybe it's because we haven't drank enough IPAs mm -hmm. and or varieties of beer. Um, again, I've pretty much, I mean, I'm more than you, but I have stuck with my same tried and true beers for most of my life, you know? And I've gone through, I've tried other beers, but not like, not like, oh, I want to get the best IPA on the market right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we spoke about this. You're more of a broad spectrum. 
Yes, but in the same sense, what I'm saying is like, like I like perpetual. I have drank drank perpetual millions of times. You know, like I I do like millions exploring. Of times. Oh, millions. Oh wow, millions. I hate to see what that. I don't, like know, if I don't you know. Loaded that. your counter with <laughs> all the cans and bottles. Millions might be a. Yeah. A tip. He means millions of sips. Mm. But. I've had a put. I've sat down and you've offered me a perpetual. Perpetual is pretty good. Perpetual's we'll good. get to that though. Eventually. You know what I, I gotta say about this, and the more I drink it, and I know we're still in taste, but this tastes like a tangerine to me. And oh yeah, yeah. I don't eat a lot of tangerines. I know. But like I think I think tangerine is a uh underrated orange. Underrated. <laughs> No, I think it's a fancy name to say orange. No, it's definitely a different. A it's a different fruit. I don't know. It's definitely a different fruit. You ever read the book Tangerine? No. No, oh, but just some kid who gets spray painted in the eyes. Interesting. <laughs> Is that all you got from that whole book? Uh, like I, if I were to <laughs> pick up that book and look at the summary, it says about a boy that got sprayed in the eyes with spray paint. Uh, I think it's a little more than that. I think he plays soccer right in like ninth grade, maybe. Uh, he plays soccer, and I think his brother spray paints him in the eyes, and that's he's got to wear like these thick glasses because of it. Because he wow, like, you like, know what? I have read this yeah. book. It's <laughs> coming back to me. Yeah, and actually, that might be. I'd probably pick that book up again, only because I like vaguely remember it, but don't remember it. You know. Yeah. No, I vaguely <laughs> remember that too. We're gonna look that up. Leave it in the comments. Have you Have read you watched... Tangerine? Yeah, I want to know. Throw it in the comments. A better summary than this guy can come up with. I do. I I'm getting a vague yes of the cover, the thick goggles. Yeah, he's like thick glasses on. Yes, he's like playing they were goggles, so- man. Oh, okay, he's like playing soccer though in it. Yeah, yeah. I wow, know. that takes us back. Back to the show, guys. <laughs> Back to uh, ninth grade when I was yeah. not drinking beer. <laughs> Absolutely not. Clockwork Tangerine. Where does that name go? Do you mind if I read some of this label? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, read, let's move on to label. All right. Clockwork Tangerine. A fully automated se- sessionable IPA infused with tangerine. We got that. Okay. Perfectly timed delivery of juicy citrus. Citrus. With notes of mellow tropical fruits, followed by subtle notes of caramel and toasted malt. I didn't get that. No malt. I'm, no. I'm with that. No Whoa, malt. You got caramel, though? No. No notes caramel. Of, no. Oh, we say it differently. <laughs> Do you say caramel? 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 Or caramel. I don't it's know. Carbon. I'll leave it there. Uh, all wrapped up in a medium-bodied ale. It's IPA's ale. Indian Pale Ale. No, I wasn't surprised. Um, I was just saying, even they know that it's not an IPA. It's just an ale. You know what I mean? It's just the end part. Yeah, they. It's uh, not an IP. It's just an ale. They referenced the movie here soon. So keep reading. Okay, a director's cut for the 21st century Clockwork Tangerine IPA precision for the people. Now I'm confused because you you said it's. Ta- it's Clockwork Orange. Yeah. Are you sure it's not Clockwork Tangerine? I'm 100% sure. <laughs> All right. Well, this is a flashback, apparently. I don't know what year it came out. No, what um, they're saying, 21st Century Fox is like a, a brand, like a label, 21st Century Fox. Now, I'm not sure if that's who put out Clockwork Orange, but that's what they're. that's definitely what they're alluding to. This is all very interesting. Clockwork, listen, and let's just dive into Clockwork Orange real quick. Clockwork Orange is one of those movies where it's not like, hey man, this is a good movie, you should watch it, where it's a popcorn flick like Terminator or like You're sitting down, yeah. Like Transformers. This is a movie where like you watch and like the art of film is very prevalent in it. You know, like the 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 cinematography of it, the the angles, the 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 message is bringing apart. Like this is a serious film. Do you want me to summarize? Pretty much, it won a Grammy. It's boring as hell. It's not boring. No, no, no. It's not boring. It's it's about like like anarchists, like just absolutely like got Malcolm McDowell in it, dude. It's awesome. Well, 
But it's not a movie where you're like, you're like, oh, that was a cool scene. It's not a Marvel movie, you know. And not that I'm not hating on Marvel movies. There, there's a time and place for those. But like, yeah, absolutely. there, there are art. Film is a is an art, you know. Oh, and we've talked about that even as much I mean, as painting. I know? feel like sometimes, not sometimes, most of the time that when we're sitting here, this. This is quite the art. Maybe yeah. we didn't get the hang of it yet. Maybe we're not. We're working good. on our art. It gets better. It yeah. gets better. We're, just we're the working average on it. art makers. But like, there right. is a there's an art to it, you know. And Citizen Kane, by the way, is what movie I'm thinking of with Rosebud. Uh, Citizen Kane, Clockwork Orange, like yeah. Shawshank Redemption. Those are films considered like at the upper echelon. I'm getting way too far into this. For I was going to rope you back. So I was going to rope you back and ask you. Um, just to add it to my movie list and maybe add it to you guys. Walk, watch Clockwork Orange. It's been some years since I've seen it. Maybe i got to watch it again, too. Yeah, just to refresh your memory. So my question for you is, if you're sitting down to drink this Clockwork Tangerine made by I'm Brubach, depressed because I'm thinking about the movie. To there you be, go. To be honest yeah. with you. I'm depressed. <laughs> does that, a, does that a, affect your score a little bit? No, it's fine. There's, there's a place for drinking while I'm depressed. Okay, <laughs> for sure. Um, uh, now I know he said the last label was kind of uh, boring. Yeah, this one's like retro, man. I'm turning the, but I'm it's seeing a, a vibe to it. Like it's I do see like shimmering. a summer like California yeah. '70s vibe, and yeah. I like that they're all kind of uniform but different enough. Different enough. I mean, it's it's a bunch of words and lines, and then the logo. And I kind of like words. it though. I kind of like that it's it's simplistic. Not I'm not, still waiting. Like we've. We've went through through what Samuel Adams, Anchor, uh, Harpoon, Harpoon, and their labels. They're all simplistic. Is that is that what we're looking at? Like, is it just supposed to be? No, there are some IPAs that really like, yeah, or not only but some breweries that really go out. Yeah, and I do think, I think if you're a local brand where you're where you're just putting things out, you should shout out local artists and let them design your labels. And and this is just a tidbit. That would be cool. I think you should do that now. But if you're, and I don't know how popular Brewdog is, but if you're a more national brand, it becomes harder to do that, where you have to make it more of a like like Budweiser. Everything you know what the the label kind of looks like between Bud Light and Budweiser, and and you know like it moves on, but it, it all kind of reminisces back. Yeah, I think all these cans beside each other would look really cool. But I'm with you. Label's kind of boring. Label's fine. Colors are great, though. It's fine. The colors are great. Colors I are like great. That. But I have about this much left. Yeah, let's try chugability. Huh? Chugability. Tap that. Tap that. You chug much better than me. I feel like when you chug, you actually like let it go down your throat, where I like collect it in my mouth and then drink it. Yeah, that wouldn't be chugability. Well, that's what I do. No, it's just like a it's just like a drain hole, man. You just let it <laughs> just just open yeah. the relax the throat. Not that I don't know. Um, it was fine. It was fine. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely chuggable to me. Oh yeah, yeah. it's chuggable. I w I could chug this, okay. both in the same sense. This it's a four point five percent. I would expect that it's chuggable when the flavor's there. I mean, it's it's. This grew on me, to be honest with you. As as much as we drank it, yeah, this has grown on me. I think it it doesn't super taste like beer, so it kind of gets the same hit as the Rattler does. Like I just taste tangerine at this point. Like I just taste fruit, um, but it is a good. It's a good drink, and I could drink a lot of these. My tummy is not upset. Yeah, there you go. Like, you put it in your tummy. Your tummy. But my score. tummy rating is yeah. is not upset. I'm I'm okay with this. It's good, man. It would. I'm gonna no, get my review. I'm ready. You ready? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna give it a six point eight. It's almost a seven for me. It's pretty good. Um, I think tangerines just aren't my favorite. If this was like orange or and like you said, banana or apple. Like I like those fruits a lot more. I'm a little different than him. I I really think that tangerine is. And we say this word a lot. It's gonna catch on. But a bougie word. Bougie for orange. I like the label. It's it's simplistic. It's weird with the colors and things like that. We said how it's, it's the word okay. is basic. But I, I like, like it. it. It's fine. Yeah. Um. I think the chuggability was there, 4.5%. It's great. The flavor's good 
for uh, fruit beer. And this is, uh, yeah, I'm going, I'm agreeing, 6.8. 6.8? Yeah, absolutely. Right. That's a great, that's yeah. a great review. Alex. That's a good beer. I, I think this is a good beer. It is a good, good beer. Yeah. It's 2% less than the Elvis juice, so if you want to get there, it's going to take a little longer. Oh, yeah. I, I think the 4.5 hurts it a little bit, personally. As an IPA, yeah. Yeah, if this was... If this you was were surprised a, that it was an IPA. I was. Like, if this was just like a 6%, even, even a 5 point something, you know, yeah. like, I would have been more like, oh, this is great for what it is. But this is a relax by the, you know, relax by the, the beach and kind of drink, drink. Yeah, it's it's good. good. I would drink this on the beach on a hot, hot summer day or oh, on the yeah. beach. I can imagine that. If they had Brewdog, like, Clockwork, Tangerine, get it. Yep. I'd grab a bougie tangerine. A bougie orange. Yeah, it's That's a bougie what orange. Should. That's what they should call it. <laughs> bougie tangerine. A bougie orange tangerine. But... Thank you for watching this episode. Yeah, Sorry we please. rambled a little there in the and, end. Uh, we really did. Uh, check out check out the movies. We'll put the description in there. Clockwork Orange. Definitely check it out. Check it out. Uh, check out the book. You might have read it in elementary or maybe they're not doing that anymore. We'll throw that description in there too. <laughs> no, I want you to describe it. Everybody who has seen or have read Tangerine, I want you to Write put summary. Put your best summary without looking it up. Don't look it up. Yeah. Put your best summary of that. And book. if you just remember the spray paint, because he evokes <laughs> so much emotion by saying that. <laughs> so many memories. Yeah. Nostalgia. We're gonna do the let's say I don't know if these are all IPs. You think these are all IPs? I think they are. Okay. I really do. Well then I'm gonna go with the punk IPA. Okay. Um, because I'm most excited for the hazy, Jane, because I do like a hazy IPA. Yes, that's what I was waiting for, too. But let's get back into the outro. Thank you for joining us for Tap That, and do not forget to tap that subscribe button. Outlaw.